So this is our HOLEP model, or our anatomical endoscopic enucleation of the prostate model. This is our second model that we created through a consensus-based approach, where we got a group of world-renowned experts in this procedure and had them identify the key steps of the procedure, the components that need to be included in a startup simulation model, but also all the errors that we needed to include and incorporate in this model to be relevant clinically. Now, from the outside, it seems very simple, but truly, the value of this model is really in the inside here because this is half a bladder, and you can see both ureteric orifices and the ridge, as well as an adenoma with a median lobe, as well as lateral lobes. This is about an 80-gram prostate. A significant amount of research and development was done not only to replicate the texture of the adenoma and also the bladder, but also to create that unique plane of dissection between the adenoma and the capsule, which is very unique for this procedure. We also created the entire anatomical components of the urethra, which are the vera montanum, and the external sphincter, which are very critical components of this model. Now, again, this model alone makes no sense unless we place it in a casing that allows us to actually be able to practice the procedure. And this is where the true genius of our engineers came in. We were able to create a self-irrigation system with two layers, a layer or three components, an insert that's all hydrogel and is very realistic, a top component that houses the insert and matches to another half of the 3D printed bladder, and then a reservoir that contains a pump that is able to circulate the fluid through the scope and the entire procedure and not leak whatsoever. So this is the casing of the actual model that's 3D printed and designed completely in our lab. The insert is right inside there, and as you can see, the hydrogel bladder matches with the 3D printed bladder exactly. We've created a gel point through which the model, the endoscope, can be inserted through and match up with the urethra, and it is completely watertight, so there's no leakage whatsoever. This also withstands a significant amount of the tension required by the endoscope to do the enucleation. And when this water, the fluid gets filled up to a certain level, there are internal channels that fill this reservoir and is pumped back into the endoscope. So this is a completely self-contained system for irrigation and practicing of the model. It is very portable, while at the same time, you can then, when you're done with this insert, remove it and place a new one, or place an insert that we're currently working on, which is about 150 gram prostate. As you can see in the video, this is one of the most realistic whole lip simulations that are existing right now. So as you can see with the side-by-side -side view, the simulation starts by introducing the endoscope. You can see the verimentanum and the external sphincter, and then get really a view of the adenoma, which is a three-low prostate. It's about 85 grams. We've really purposely created a color difference. That's the external sphincter that uh, the, the expert surgeon here is visualizing before starting. That's the verimontanum, and then the adenoma starts. We were really able to create this model in a way in which you are able to do any technique that you need. You can do an end block technique, a bilober, a trilober technique. Any way that you want to do your HOLIP procedure, you, you can do your HOLIP procedure. You can start with doing the five and seven o'clock incisions, or you can start right where this expert surgeon is starting here at the base and doing an end block procedure. You can see that just using a 40 watt laser, you're able to laser through the adenoma and expose the capsule at that area. Again, the amount of research and development that went into this model to enable you not only to have that great laser interaction, but also to enable you to do a significant amount of blunt dissection with the beak of the scope, because that is you know, very common. Expert surgeons use a combination of sharp or laser and blunt technique. Here, the surgeon is looking at the left ureteric orifice, and because of the large median lobe, they have to really torque on the scope, and then they're looking at the contralateral ureteric orifice before completing their actual enucleation. Going back to the fact that you could actually do both laser dissection and blunt dissection in the model is a significant improvement in this model. 
One of the most difficult things to replicate was really that bladder and neck fiber dissection. And so we were able to add additives to our hydrogel to recreate those bladder neck fibers. As you notice, we also changed the color. So it gives you a realistic experience of cutting through those bladder neck fibers when you're almost done with inoculating the adenoma. And we've seen time where trainees have gone really sub-trigonal and really missed that quite significantly. You can see from the outside view that the surgeon is truly manipulating the endoscope as they would in a real procedure to enable them to get the entire adenoma in block. So you can watch the entire simulation, but here, this is the final part where they're releasing the final attachments of the adenoma to the actual capsule, and this is at the bladder neck area at around six o'clock. Again, you can see how they're able to use the laser to really target that area and not go subtrigonal. Once all the attachments have been released, you'll be able to really push the adenoma into the bladder and get that relief that you've done a complete procedure. And then you can check the fossa to make sure that there are no areas of bleeding. You haven't injured the uteric orifice, the external sphincter, or any critical components. We've actually created a grading system similar to the GEARS and the OSAT system that enables us to evaluate your performance. But more importantly, you can take that adenoma and weigh it because you know that the adenoma is 85 grams. And so you can look at the difference and how much of the adenoma you left behind. This is one of the most sought after simulations that we fabricate in our lab.